Hey guys, this is Brandy with another tutorial, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use my vignette overlays. So if you're watching this tutorial, you've likely purchased these overlays, so I want to send a quick thank you over to you. And if you haven't purchased them, feel free to do so at www.brandyreneephotography.com. So let's not waste any more time, and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to locate your vignette overlays. So I saved mine to a folder right here. And it comes with three different overlays, Ruby Red, Subtle Gray, and Thunder Gray. For this tutorial, I'm going to use Ruby Red. So the Ruby Red is really good for those of you who like to get creative. Um, I like to be outside of the box when it comes to, you know, adding a little bit of creativity to my images. So yeah, <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is if your uh, vignette isn't scaled up to your image, you want to, you know, just stretch it out a tad. So I'm just going to bring this down and bring this up a tad. And then select the check mark when you're finished. And now you want to create a layer mask and you could do that by clicking this rectangular looking circle thingy right here. <laughs> And I'm just going to lower my opacity. So I'm going to go down to about 46%. That's good. Select your layer mask and click B on your uh, keyboard for your brush tool. And make sure that you have a soft brush selected. And make sure that your opacity is at 100%. And we're just going to make sure that the vignette is nowhere on the subject. So I'm just slowly taking it off of her. I'm going to take it away from the sides right here, Tad. I just really want it to be on the edges and around her, but not on her. And there we go. That's it. So you can click on this eye to see before and after, before and after. So. After you're done, don't forget to right-click your background layer and flatten your image. 